Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall Gan. Today we are going to learn very important topic of Checkpoint Firewall world which is how you do tunnel management. So without wasting time let's begin. Tunnel management. There are two types of VPN tunnel management. One permanent tunnels and two VPN tunnel sharing. Permanent tunnel, this feature keeps VPN tunnels active which allowing real-time monitoring capabilities and in VPN tunnel sharing, this feature provides greater interoperability and scalability between gateways. It also controls the number of the VPN tunnels created between peer gateways. Permanent tunnels as companies have become more dependent on VPNs for communication to other side, uninterrupted connectivity has become more crucial than ever before. It is essential to make sure VPN tunnels are kept up and running. Permanent tunnels are constantly kept active and as a result make it easier to recognize malfunctions and connectivity problems. Security administrator can monitor the two sides. Tunnels are constantly kept active and as a result make it easier to recognize malfunction and connectivity problems. Security administrator can monitor two sides of VPN tunnels and identity problems without delay. Each VPN tunnel in a community may be said to be a permanent tunnel. Since permanent tunnels are constantly monitored, if a VPN tunnel fails for some reason, a log, alert or a user defined action can be issued. A VPN tunnel is monitored by the periodically sending tunnel test packets. As long as response to the packets are received, the VPN tunnel is considered up. If no response is received within a given a time period, the VPN tunnel is considered down. Permanent tunnels can only establish between the checkpoint gateways. Please note permanent tunnels only establish between the checkpoint gateways. The configuration of the permanent tunnels takes place on community objects. There are three options to configure permanent tunnels. Number one for the entire community. This option sets every VPN tunnel in a community as a permanent. Number two for a specific gateway. You can use this option to configure a specific gateway to have a permanent tunnel. And the last number, number 3 for a single VPN tunnel. This feature allows configuring specific tunnels between the specific gateways as permanent. Now let's understand how tunnel testing performs. Tunnel test is a proprietary checkpoint protocol that is used to test whether the VPN tunnels are active. A tunnel test packet has an arbitrary length with only the first byte containing meaningful data, the type field. It, this tunnel testing protocol works on a UDP port 18234. We will look more on this. There are types of fields that can take any of the following which use for tunnel testing so they are like uh, one two three four like one test two is reply three is connect four is connected so this is testing performed between the tunnels and these are the test messages sent between the between the two gateways and how the connectivity is established tunnel testing required two gateways one configure as a finger P I N G E R and one as a responder. The finger gateway uses VPN daemon VPND to send encrypted tunnel testing packet to the responder gateway. The responder gateway is configured to listen on a port 18234 for a specific tunnel testing packet. The finger sends type 1 or 3 as we discussed earlier. 
the responder send a packet of identical length with type 2 or 4 respectively during the connect phase the tunnel testing is used in two ways number one a connect message is sent to to the gateway and receipt of the connect message is indication that the connection succeeded connect message are retransmitted for up to 10 seconds after the IP negotiation is over if there is no response received right a series and uh, number two a series of test message with a various length is sent so as to discover the path maximum transmission unit p mtu path maximum transmission unit of the connection this may also take up to 10 seconds this test is executed to ensure that tcp packets that are too large are not sent right tcp packet that are too large will be fragmented and slow down performance let's understand the second option in tunnel management which is vpn tunnel sharing since various vendors implemented ipsec tunnels in a number of different methods administrators need to cope with different means of implementing the ipsec framework VPN tunnel sharing provides interoperability and scalability as we discussed by controlling the number of VPN tunnels created between the PO gateways there are three available settings number one one VPN tunnel per each pair of hosts number two one VPN tunnel per subnet pair number three one VPN tunnel per gateway pair and if you want to see where the option present you have to go to the, your community and over there you will see I mean you have to go to the VPN community and over there you have to jump on this tunnel management option and you will see the option one is set permanent tunnel and another one VPN tunnel sharing option to set VPN tunnel as a permanent you need to select set permanent tunnel as shown on a screen and the following permanent tunnel modes are then made available as you can see on a screen on all tunnel in the community on all tunnels in the community on all tunnels of a specific gateways on specific tunnels in the community to make all VPN tunnels permanent in a community select on all tunnels in a community in the community the number one option to make all VPN tunnels for specific gateway permanent select on all tunnel for a specific gateway Select the specific gateway you want to and all VPN tunnel to the specific gateway will set as a permanent tunnel. Tracking option can be configured for a specific gateways VPN tunnels in the gateway tunnels property screen. Use community tracking option as a default setting you can select specific tracking option. To configure a specific uh, tunnel in community to be permanent you need to select one specific tunnel in a community you need to click set permanent tunnel button for example to make tunnel between the remote gateway 1 and remote gateway 2 in the cell that intersect the remote gateway 1 and remote gateway 2 where a permanent tunnel is required Click select tunnel property to display the tunnel property screen. Click select these tunnels to be permanent tunnels. Click OK. You will see those options in a you know in a lab scenario. Let's jump on to the next option which is tracking options. In a tunnel management, you can configure several types of alerts to keep administrator up to date on the status of VPN tunnels. Tracking setting can be configured on a tunnel management screen of the community property without 
or uh, property window for all VPN tunnels or they can be set individually when they configure the permanent tunnel themselves. The different options are log, pop-up alert, mail alert, SNMP trap alert and user define alert. Choose one of these alerts type will enable immediate identification of the problem and the ability to respond to the issue more effectively. Let's see where you can find this option. So several attributes allow for a customization of the tunnel test and the interval for a permanent tunnel. So number one you have to go to the smart dashboard then select your global properties and there from there you have to go to the smart dashboard customization. Then you have to click configure and then advanced configuration screen is displayed. Click VPN advanced property and from there you have to go to the tunnel management to see these five attributes. Let's discuss something more on uh, VPN tunnel sharing configuration. VPN tunnel sharing provides greater interoperability and scalability by controlling the number of the VPN tunnel created between the different PA gateways. Configuration of a VPN tunnel sharing can be set on both the VPN community and gateway objects. Tunnel sharing is configured using the following settings. One VPN tunnel per each pair of the host. Here a VPN tunnel is created for every session initiated between the every pair of the host. Right? One VPN tunnel per each pair of host. That means a VPN tunnel is created for every session initiated between the every pair of hosts. One VPN tunnel per subnet pair, it means once a, a VPN tunnel has been opened between two subnets, subsequent session between the same subnet will share the same VPN tunnel. This is the default setting and is compliant with the IPsec industry standard. And one VPN tunnel per gateway pair, one VPN tunnel is created between gateways and shared by all hosts behind each peer gateway. Right? This is uh, the meaning of the this uh, option. If there is a conflict between the channel properties of a VPN community and the gateway object that is a member of the same community, the stricter setting is used. For example, gateway object that was set to one VPN channel per each pair of the host and the community object that was set to one VPN channel per subnet pair a VPN sharing will use one VPN tunnel per each pair of hosts. So guys, this is it for this video. Uh, I try to explain, you know, in detail what is tunnel management in a checkpoint firewall. So guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and press a like button there. So I come to know you like my video and please press the bell icon so that whatever the latest video I'm going to upload in my channel will come to you as soon as I uploaded them. So guys, thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day ahead.